Hi Libra, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your reading for March 2021 in Love and Romance. I'm going to be pulling cards from the Tarot of the 78 Doors deck. And I will pull eight cards. I'll tell you the significance of the placements as soon as I uh, finish shuffling and I place the cards as I go. Whoa. Um, hangman, sacrifice, sticking around, waiting. Sacrificing your happiness for somebody else. It looks like that that's coming to an end because Eight of Cups shows walking away from something that was unfulfilling. All right, this is a lot, so I'm going to just take that back. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <clears throat> for March 2021. And after I pull these eight cards, I'll pull two Love Oracle cards. It's going to be a short reading. Can we please get a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2021, please? Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. So Libra, this is you. There it is again, the hangman, the person you're dealing with, the high priestess, the situation. Beautiful, a happy home, outcome. The wheel, the wheel of fortune. How you feel about them? Two of swords, how they feel about you? Empress, beautiful. Your challenge or obstacle? Nine of pentacles, their challenge or obstacle is the two of cups. On the bottom is the Three of Cups. It's a very happy, fantastic energy here. This is a beautiful reading. What I would expect from a Libra reading, what I'm <clears throat> used to. So for you, Libra, it looks like with a hangman energy, this and for the person you're dealing with is the High Priestess, both major arcana cards, as is the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. That's just saying it's fate energy. A lot of things going into this. It's not just about free will. Okay, so it's very powerful, potent energy for March. For you, with a hangman, it's showing sacrifice. Um, sacrificing your happiness or whatever you may wanting, you may be wanting to do. If you have a plan uh, for your career or going back to school or, you know, it doesn't have to be those things. Anything that you have to put on the back burner so that somebody else can benefit. Perhaps not going off to work, staying home so your spouse can go to work and, you know, whatever it is. So this is showing for you sticking around <clears throat> and sacrificing and waiting. Now for the other person that you're dealing with, they have the high priestess. So this can be about, if it's not a Virgo, it can show this energy of secrets being revealed or keeping secrets. Okay. Cause the high priestess is the keeper of all those secrets. She sees beyond the veil. It doesn't have to be a her could be a him or whatever, but she is someone, the high priestess knows and sees all. So when you see that, it can either mean that a secret will be revealed, they're keeping secrets, or it's speaking to you already know the answer, trust your intuition. Because the high priestess is very much about your inner um, guide, trusting your gut instinct, your intuition. So between the two of you, it shows a happy home situation. The four of wands, stability. You worked hard to get to where you're at. You both contributed. And it's a stable home for your children, for your relatives, for everybody. It's like where everybody gathers for the holidays. Okay? So you are that. You, you two are this happy home energy to the world anyways. Okay. Now for the outcome, there's the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune shows a major change coming up. So as it turns, however, things have been going, it's showing that, you know, if you've been feeling stuck in a rut and feeling like you have to do all the sacrificing, that things are going to change soon and get better. Now for the other person, if they've been keeping secrets, holding things in, that too, you know, it's the wheel of fortune here looks like it's going to bring in positivity because even with the bottom of the deck, there's three of cups and that's celebrating and good times and being social again. All right. For how you feel about them, it's two of swords. 
Okay, so maybe that's what the secrets is about because the two of swords is showing being pulled in two different directions. Here we see a baby being dropped off at this church and the nun is now, you know, she's already committed herself to a life of celibacy and, you know, worshiping. And then she's got this baby here dropped off. So anyways, two of swords is just showing a stalemate, a pause, a time before you move forward because you haven't made a judgment call at some decision okay because it's maybe tricky for you and you feel like very strongly about it and you don't know which way to go so how you feel about them that's the position okay so maybe you feel that they have not chosen now I don't know if this is about somebody else is in the mix because three of cups can also speak to partying celebrations dating, you know, reunions, all that type of energy, okay? Friends, going out, cheersing, all that type of energy. So you feel about them like they have to make a choice. They haven't made a choice about something. For them, how they feel about you, that makes sense, Libra, because you know you guys are ruled by Venus, and, the, and Venus rules the Empress. They think you are the nurturer mother earth type that you are loving kind beautiful of the, the perfect mom um partner giving generous one who really makes a home a home okay so that's what's making this home it looks like you're doing a lot of the work here so that's how they feel about you so they see you in a very high, high energy and how you see them is not because you feel that they're holding something back and they need to make a choice. Now your challenge or obstacle in this relationship or connection is nine of pentacles and that's about independence. Perhaps you've been, you know, you, you want to be independent because here it looks like you see this person is underwater and chained. I know it's supposed to be a magician act, but still, okay, it's a hangman. It's about sacrifice. Like at the ascetics back in the day when they stand on one leg in the forest and they keep doing mantras until, you know, the divine divinity, whatever the, the God that they want to, you know, connect with makes an appearance or gives them a boon, like that kind of stuff. So here it shows... With the tarot of the 78 doors, you know, this Houdini kind of thing where somebody's upside down. Well, that sucks, right? They're so that looks so uncomfortable. How how can you stay in that kind of energy for a long time? So here your challenge or obstacle is nine of pentacles. You feel like this and you want your independence secretly. That's what I think. Okay. Um, like even with this energy, you see this woman, she's still hosting. There's two people coming over. Usually they don't have this kind of energy with nine of pentacles. They'll have just one woman with a beautiful garden and a bird of spirit speaking to them. Say, hey, there's more to life than this. But here it shows this person inviting friends over. Still, it's like this energy minus hubby. Okay. So it looks like um, wanting to be free, wanting to do what you want to do, pursue what you want. Because it looks like you've been sacrificing. Now for them, their challenge or obstacle is the two of cups. That sucks because that means that their challenge or obstacle is to be in love. Two, two of cups is soulmate connection. Two people giving equally. Their hearts. And it shows a harmonious relationship. Soulmate connection, true love, all of that. And here's a sweet little picture of two children who are giving their cups to each other. Now, for them, it's their issue. I hope it's not that there's somebody else in the background who they're having a reunion with from back in the day that, you know, from high school or from their hometown or from their community that they feel this connection to, those, you know, um, freer kind of nostalgic energy to that is very lighthearted. And that's easy to do when you don't have kids or you're not settled down, right? And not married. But here it's showing... That's their challenge or obstacle. It could either be to give to you fully or somebody who makes them feel like this. And that, let's just see underneath, two of pentacles there. That's trying to maintain balance, keeping busy, 
lovers, a choice that needs to be made in love. That's what it and look, this person has lots of passion, lots of choices. All right, let's pull some Oracle cards. I'm going to pull the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Can we get a card, please, for Libra? What's going on with Libra and love and romance for March? What's going on with Libra and love and romance for March 2021, please? Thank you so much. What's going on with Libra? What does Libra need to know in love and romance for March 2021? There we go. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. That means somebody's got you feeling romantic feelings. And perhaps you want to be single again. On the bottom, wedding. <laughs> oh, no. So this involves marriage. Yeah, because you're in something. So Libra, what it looks like, and I know that a lot of you are going to get upset because you guys like to be in relationships like cancer too, but it's showing with romantic feelings. Somebody stirred these feelings inside of you, okay? And with the wedding card, it's saying you're married or they're married or you're both married. Um, the wedding card, if you're single, for the Librans who are single, it's saying, if you're wondering, will I ever get married? Well, if you're watching this and you see this, it's saying, yes, it's a validation. You will. You will get married for sure. That's what this card is saying for this reading. Now, if you are married, it's implying that it, there could be a divorce. If you're engaged, it's saying you will get married. Okay. Like, and if you're not wanting to get married at all and you want independence, Okay, even if you are married, it's saying that the issues you have with it obviously is, makes sense. It says it's because of you, the relationship your parents had, the wedding date, the, sorry, the marriage that they had has toxified you. So I'm going to read Romantic Feelings just because I want, I, I don't remember everything about it. So let's just see. The stirrings within your heart represent the song of romance calling to you. This card comes to you as guidance to follow the pathway of those feelings. Perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap and you wondered whether or not to pursue him or her. Well, this card says that the answer is yes. Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date or making your feelings known. If you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. Okay, great. You can romance yourself by, for example, treating yourself to a luxurious massage or pedicure, buying yourself presents, or watching a romantic movie. You can also actively pursue and attract romance. First, affirm that it's already inside of you. A partner definitely brings these feelings to the surface. However, they were within you as a potential initially. The more you affirm, I am romantically loved, the more you attract this condition within yourself and through a relationship. In some cases, you'll receive this card as a signal that you are ready for a new relationship. It then guides you to take action, such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners, as well as frequenting places where such potential partners may be. These would be locations or events associated with your hobbies or interests. So Libra, what it looks like, if things have fizzled between you two and it's gotten like, you know, where you guys have to have this perfect home and you're keeping secrets about how you feel like, away from each other, kind of you know, not feeling appreciated, feeling stuck, wanting to have more time for yourself, wanting more independence. It's saying with the wheel as the outcome, this will definitely change, especially with what's going on right now everywhere. You know, that's making everything worse. So the wheel of fortune is showing a change from whatever has been going on, like the wheel spins. So it's not always a great thing. If things have been going great, sometimes the wheel comes in. It's like, no, nah, it's not going to last. Something's going to happen to, you know, unless there's really positive cards with it, then that can signify, you know, a windfall of money or whatever, whatever. But when you feel like you're, you know, in a glass case of emotion, like this person upside down with water, it's saying it's going to change. It will get better because you guys do have a stable, happy home. And also it could be, you know, some kind of childhood issues with you because of your um, desire here, the challenge or the obstacle for you wanting independence because of perhaps your parents' marriage and how that affected you. All right. So this is um, Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Let's get one more love oracle card just to see. 
and clarify some more. Can we please get a card for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2021? Now, aside from that, you know, how you feel about them, Two of Swords, whether that's how you think they feel or how you feel, okay, it's generally showing that you think they need to make a choice, okay, Two of Swords. And when the High Priestess is there for them, it could show that there's somebody who is extremely intuitive and knows something's up and off knows either that or they are keeping a secret or they sense a secret or secret is about to be revealed type of energy. All right. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. I'll put this over here. On the bottom, there's the heart of the matter there's more going on than meets the eye i recognize what this is all about so this is like i always say reminds me of the india ari don henley i think song originally heart of the matter forgiveness and whenever i see this card i always it's it's involving children okay for me how i see it sacrifice right sacrificing for the kids all right so, you know what, it looks like things will change though, Libra. If things have been pretty stale and feeling like, you know, you're stuck in a rut, it's showing that you can get things going again, right? And it will happen. There will be a change. It's fated, okay? The Wheel of Fortune card. That's a major arcana. It's going to have a very strong influence over you guys in March. And so, you know, remember this happy home and the heart of the matter. That's your reading for March. I'll have um, a general with a whole bunch of other different Oracle cards too. I'd love to do that. And I plan to do that. I hope I do that. And then your weekly love readings will come up after I've done these. Thanks for watching Libra. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.